Hi guys, today we're going to learn how to put bindings onto a snowboard. As you can see, this one is already done. That's what it should look like at the end of it. These are the Union Contact bindings with the special plate over the top, over the binding bolts. So, what are you going to need? You're going to need your bolts with the washers. So, bolts and washers. You're going to need the little plate thingy. It's a very relatively fat screwdriver. This is I'm not sure if you can see it. But this is quite a fat screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver. And of course, you're going to need your binding. And if you have the Union Contact bindings like me, you're going to need the plate that goes over the bolts and the little bolt that holds it in place. So, first thing we're going to do is you're going to want to know how far apart you want your bindings and how you want them set up. Because this is quite a short board, I have my mine on the furthest bolts. Um, and I have my feet in a position called duck foot, which is where your feet are like that. Like that. It's very good for riding um, freestyle because it's exactly the same riding switch and normal. Um, so it's good for um, any freestyle board. This is what most pro riders have their bindings like. So um, my bindings um, on them have little numbers. I'm not sure if you can see that to tell you what angle the bindings are at. And I have my bindings at 15 degrees. So you're going to um, line up on my binding plate thing, there's a little arrow. So you're going to line up the arrow with the, uh, the angle you want it and then find the the bolt holes you want it over. So I have it on the furthest ones. So you're going to line it up like that. And then don't you don't need a screwdriver yet, you just put the bolts in with your fingers like this. So you can make sure when you tighten them up they're all even. And then last one. And then make sure it's straight. You can also switch the plate round so the two hot slits are like that so you can move the binding back and forth. But I don't like it like that. So now you've got it in the position you want it. You tighten it up with the with the screwdriver. As tight as they'll go. So you don't want these coming loose when you're on the mountain because that wouldn't be very good. If they get too loose they could fall off, you could fall and break your ankle. But with these ones that shouldn't happen because you still need to make sure they're tight but because they have the plate over the top it will stop the bolts falling out completely but I suppose all the time you'll have boots on so you don't need to worry about that unless you are on a lift and you take your foot off, foot out. So you've got to make sure they're nice and tight. Now that is how you put a basic binding on with no plate over the top. Some binding plate things already have, they have the bolts built in so it's easy to do that. But now, because I have the Union Contact bindings, I'm going to show you how to put this plate on. Now you're going to want to just move this out of the way, just fold it like that. And then you're going to get this little notch here and put it in the groove there. That's just going to slide in. And that slides in like that. And then you've got to line up this hole, the bolt hole, with I'd say there's three little holes that I, the bottom one is the best one. Unless you, unless you have massive boots. But this is the extra large version, so not many people have boots like that are so big you won't fit in these bindings. Now you're just going to tighten that bolt up. Well, that's not, not too tight because you'll ruin the plastic. This bolt isn't necessary. Well, you'll need it to keep this held on. But that doesn't need to be really tight just so it doesn't move. And that is how you put a binding on a snowboard.